Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Dungeon of the Endless. This is a game that I have not played, I want to say, in two or three years, and I miss it. Um, I really enjoyed my experience with this. The game had this huge difficulty spike toward, like, the middle of the run, but, uh, like, my experience up to that point was fairly positive. It did something a lot different than a lot of other roguelikes have. Um, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Options menu, just pause if you want to see any of this in greater detail. I do have the music off to prevent any sort of copyright issues. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Yes, I don't mind losing my save because I have no idea where I was. So this game is like a base defense kind of game, kind of, sort of. You've got this core that you're tasked with protecting, and you have to explore rooms. But time doesn't pass until you actually open up a new door to explore a new room. Um, whenever you do explore a new room, chances are there's going to be bad guys spawning from unpowered areas trying to get to your core. So you have to use your guys here that I'm about to pick in order to defend that core. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got. Uh, Max O'Kane. Uh, let's see what he's got here. Number of hero deaths, number of victories. Yeah, this guy is... In, uh, I've selected this guy before. Opportunist. Um, let's see. Sarah, I guess that's a melee weapon person. Uh, who else we had? Gork Butcher. We've got Nurse Dina Ratchet. Uh, what is that? Number of hero. Apparently, I've used her a lot. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. Looks like a giant sword. Uh, Rakya Palomni. Okay. What about this engineer here? Uh, <laughs> some of these are Team Fortress 2 characters, just for the record. Um, so this is the engineer class, I think, from Team Fortress 2. Uh, skilled Engineer. Alright, uh, we've got the Pyro guy, for, also from Team Fortress 2, the Heavy. We've got uh, the Doc, the Medic. Um, I have no idea what that is. Rosetta Q, by the book. I've never picked this one before. Alright, well, let's do this. Um, let's kind of pick people that I know, uh, that I've picked before. I think Max will go with Max and uh, uh, Nurse, maybe. I've picked her a lot. Looks like she's got a gun. So you can actually see what kind of weapon they use in the upper left-hand corner of their portrait. I might want to pick a different weapon type for this other character. Um, the Engineer, I picked him three times, so maybe he's good. Kree Yang and Professor Josh Natello. Um, I could spend all day looking at these guys. Uh, she's also got a gun. Alright, this is like a machine gun of sorts. Thug. I kind of want an engineer though. Reason being... Can I change my ship? No. So apparently I have to win the game in order to unlock different ship types. Uh, we'll go with too easy. Just so I can relearn the game. You know what? Let's go with... I mean, I like Max's style there. Um, but let's go ahead and pick an engineer if we can. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I... You know what? I, I feel bad. Alright, let's, let's just... Let's just do this. Let's, let's do the nurse. Fine. Same weapon types, but we'll just deal with it start. Okay, so I've got these two characters. Uh, tutorial. You survive the crash. The only system in working condition is your pod is the crystal. It's source of energy. Defend it at all costs. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Knock on wood. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open that door. Send them into these rooms. Okay. Alright. So, middle mouse button powers the room. In the upper left-hand corner, you've got some resources. Looks like I'm earning 8 industry per turn. Um, 
you can see in the upper left, there's a little plus eight in red there. I've got a total of 34 of that industry resource. Then down here, you've got the science resource. I've got 19 of it, and I'm earning five per turn. And then also food. I have uh, 20, and I'm earning six per turn. And again, turns pass whenever you open a door. Um, there's also this dust. This is sort of like your, I hate to call it electricity, but dust is a way to power these rooms. And uh, eventually you won't have enough dust to power every single room. So you have to pick and choose what rooms you power, which ones you don't power. And this appears to be the only way to go. So why don't I start here? Um, hmm. All right, in the bottom left-hand corner is a build menu. Science creator, industry generator, or food replicator. So science generates more science for my dungeon, so I can increase my science income. Food generates more food, and the industry generator generates more industry, obviously. I think I'm going to do the industry generator first, so that I can, well, build more things, because a lot of these things require industry. So I'll put that there. And there we go. Um, so I may also want to build some turrets. Prisoner prod. Uh, does low damage to enemies in the room. This is going to be a good choke point, I think, so we'll put that there. Now, we will eventually get more options, more building options, but for right now, this is all we have. Alright, so I'll put two turrets down, and I guess we'll explore this next room. Go ahead and power that. Okay, so some kind of crystal here. Uh, research. So, if I had the research available, I would be able to research something new for my build menu. Unfortunately, I only have 24 science right now. However, I will get this Kip Cannon soon if I can just save up five more science, which I will be able to do. Also, this Viral Injector. Um, spreads disease, not social media alerts. Damage over time. Uh, the Kip Module... Uh, most priority target, most powerful monster. Attack power for each stock science. So this Kip Cannon actually does more damage the more science you're saving. I'm going to be spending a lot of it, so it's probably not a good one for me to take. Uh, this is other thing, Mechanical Pal. It cracks jokes, cooks meals, shines shoes, and operates modules. Operates and adds one wit on major modules. Interesting. I might want to save up for that. Uh, but we can't do anything about that now. So I think what I'm going to do is keep this room powered for now. It's kind of a dead end. And we'll move back over here. Oh, I found an artifact. That's what this is here. Um, if I zoom out with the mouse wheel... Actually, there is a way to go. I could go this way. Let's just open this door and see what's down here. And again, as I open doors, time will pass. Oh, we got an enemy there. I'm going to just jump into this room. Alright, now I don't have enough power to power this room yet. So the question is, do... Okay, this is a dead end. So let's bring these guys back here. I'm hoping they don't destroy this thing, but we'll see. Unpowered rooms typically spawn monsters, so we may see some monster spawnage right here. Okay, upper right-hand corner is the character menus. Here you can heal. You can level up, so you can spend food to actually level your characters. Um, they each have different skills. Um, it, as you level, they also earn active skills. Uh, let's see. So I may want to level her up. We'll go ahead and do that. Why not? Uh, it looks like she's earned the paramedic. Uh, heroes in room, health regen plus 16. Health, uh, heroes in floor, health regen 7. So she now has the ability to heal my characters. Okay. Um, I don't think I have enough food to level him up just yet, but if we build more things, that will be fine. Again, I've got science to research something here, but I want to save that for uh, that other ability that is a lot more expensive. Uh, this mechanical pal. Yeah, I like that. But we can't get it yet. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next room. Again, these are all unpowered for now, but as we explore, we earn more dust. Uh, nothing is... Oh, we got some spawnage. Let's get back to the main room. Doesn't look like they attack the science area. That's good. Alright, 
got another dust. Let's go ahead and power that one. Actually, let's do this. Um, I could put something in here. It's out of the way. It's a dead end. I don't have to worry about it. I think I will add something here. Let's go with the science creator. I kind of want to get more science more quickly because we do have science here. So let's go with a science creator. Awesome. And I'm not going to worry about adding turrets here because, again, there's no way in for the monsters. They're going to be spawning from here, from here on out. Now, I can, if I want to, unpower this room in order to power a different room, but then this, this thing won't work. So I need to leave that powered. All right, let's open this door and see what we get. We got a chest uh, and some spawnage. All right, let's get back here. Now, once all enemies are defeated, our characters will heal automatically. I don't have to worry about activating her special ability or anything like that. We are at 47 science. Let's see if that's enough to actually take that one tech thingy. Uh, it is. Uh, operates and adds one wit on major modules. Uh, let's go ahead and analyze that. And it's going to take three turns, I think, for that to be done, if I remember, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh... Research remaining three turns. Okay, so it's going to be three turns. And again, a turn is every time I open a door. Um, I guess we have to continue on. I'll leave you here. And at this point, it's just a guess as to where to go next. So we'll just go left. Ooh, we earned some dust and whatever this is. I'm not sure what that... Ooh, we got ten science for that. Okay. I don't see any spawnage. That's good. Um, let's continue up. Nothing happening. Oh, we got spawnage in that room. And again, they're trying to get to my core here, and I'm trying to prevent that from happening. Combat is not over yet. Go ahead and power that room. I think I may want to put a food generator there. I want to level up my characters a bit more. Alright, I want to level this one up. Using 25 food. His active ability is verbal abuse. Attack, power increase, and defense. So yeah, uh, he has a, a buff that he can pass on. That's good. Um, yeah, for now, that's good. There's also a light RPG element to this. Uh, if you look on the bottom, it says equipment. Uh, there's a gun slot, a chest slot, and I guess like a trinket. All right. So let's go ahead and make this our new area to defend. I don't want to add too many turrets here, but I do need to protect this area. So maybe we'll do one, and I think I can't afford anything else. Oh, I can. Okay, we'll do that. Um, what am I going to put here? I'm thinking food. We're pretty low on food. All right. And that one thing is still being researched. Here's my backpack. Um, mil spec bracelets. Items saved for the next floor. Oh. Defense and attack power. Why don't I just give that to him now? Yeah. I guess I picked these up from somewhere and didn't know it. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and... I guess we'll go left. Eventually we'll find an exit room. We don't have to leave right away. Ooh, nine dust and some kind of thing? Looks like nine food. Okay. I don't know if enemies spawned, but... Okay, so we got this mechanical pal, right? For 15 industry, I can put this down. I think I can add this to a module, an existing module. So maybe like this thing here. There it goes. So now I believe that this will operate this thing and make it more efficient, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Operates and adds one wit on major modules. Uh, this is, I think this is a minor module actually, isn't it? No, this is a major one. Okay, it, this should give us some, yeah, this has given us 12 industry now. I'm going to add one to the food as well, just to see if we notice a difference. We have uh, plus 9 food coming in. Now we've got plus 10 food. Okay, so that does matter. I'm going to go ahead and add power that room there. Uh, with only 5 industry, there's no modules that we can put here for right now, so 
I think we're just kind of hold our ground. Looks like a dead end. Got six dust though. Now this room is automatically powered. It's a self-powered room. I don't have to worry about powering it. That's kind of nice. Uh, no enemies though. Uh, let's go up this way. Ooh, eight dust, but uh, we're about to be attacked. Uh, let's retreat back to this room. We may activate our ability. Alright, that's it. Okay. Um, yes, I did actually get pretty far in this, um, but the difficulty curve is weird in this game. Like, it, you're do you'll be doing fine for a while, and it's like you're steamrolling everything, and then bam, the difficulty spike hits, and then you're like, whoa, what just happened? But it is a fun experience, I think. Alright, let's move up. I, I don't have enough industry to put another thing down yet, unfortunately. Um... Let's... We have enough science, I think, for something else. Let's come back here and research something new. With 62... Industry Generator 2. That's actually quite good. So that'll replace the ones we're be, we've been putting down. This biomass factory gives plus one industry every six monsters killed divided by the number of players. Doesn't work like the crystal is being moved. Uh, while the crystal... Okay, so... That's not bad. Um, gives one industry every six monsters killed. That's situational, though. We'd have to put that at a choke point if I were to research it. Um, this Prisoner Prod 2 is an upgraded version to the one I've got. That's shooting things. Bioorganic Transference. Um, each kill heats up to 10, 100 HP based on killed monster power distributed to heroes in the room. So it actually heals my heroes while it kills stuff. Um, well, I'm going to go with the Industry Generator 2. I'm going to go ahead and analyze that for 46, and uh, that's going to take three turns or so for that to happen. It's kind of like Duskers, a little bit, but in this case it's more like protect the core while you explore and gain resources. Ooh, okay. So we found the exit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this door. It's also considered a turn. You have opened the last door of this dungeon. Okay, so that's it. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to power and what I'm not going to power. We need to create a clear path um, to this thing. So I may need to turn off some of these rooms. So I'm going to do that one and that one. What's unfortunate is that I don't know if we actually completed our research. I'm hoping we would. Uh, yeah, we got it. Okay. So, we need to turn that off. We need to create power to this room. Alright, so we'll do something like that. And one person is going to carry the crystal, this this core here, while the other one sort of just guards, I guess. And enemies will be spawning repeatedly as this happens. Now, he moves very slowly, so let's just... Yep, come on. Unfortunately, my stuff is getting destroyed. <laughs> uh, drop it off, please. Uh, what's wrong with you? Drop it off! Uh, pause. Okay, so what's going on here? Why can't I at attack that? First, let's heal. Oh, exit. There we go. There was an exit button that I did not see. Alright, so we cleared the first floor. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of floors to get through. Alright, um, I guess it could be worse indeed. Alright, so, new area. We should probably stick to one direction. That way we're not having to stay here and guard. 
go ahead and power that up. Now we have to kind of start over in terms of building stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do an industry generator here. And I think we want to put one of those mechanical pals down to double down on that income. And then maybe some prisoner prods for defense. Alright, that's good enough. And let's just move on. Ooh, got some enemies. All right, got an extra dust. Uh, this is quite a small room over here. I mean, we'll go ahead and add something here anyway. I'm, I'm tempted to do another industry generator because we're not earning a whole lot per turn. Although, I wouldn't mind more science. You know what, let's do a science, uh, science generator. All right, and we'll add one more prisoner prod here. And... I don't have enough for this mechanical pal. Just keep going. Ooh, ten dust in this room. We'll power it up. Okay. Um, let's move in. What am I putting here? I don't think I have enough. No, I don't have enough industry to add anything here, so we won't. Um, let's just go south. Uh, easy peasy. Go ahead and power that room. This is not a room I would want to stay powered, honestly. There's not a whole lot going on here. I think we'll explore whatever's down here and then unpower it. Well, maybe not. There's another thing there. We've got 95 food. Um, I'm very tempted to level up again. Let's do it. Level up with him and we'll level up with her. And did we gain any items? No. Okay. So here's a dilemma. Do I keep going this way? I don't have enough dust to power this room. Alright, let's just check it out. Ooh, we found the exit already. Uh, we will come this way eventually, but not right now. Uh, we do have enough industry, however, to build another thing. Um, I'm thinking the food replicator so that we can get more. I mean, we are kind of low. And I really like that mechanical pal that we researched. It's, it's, it's one extra thing per turn, which isn't too bad. Um, let's check this room. Looks like a dead end. Ooh, nine dust and I'm not sure what this is. I can activate it for 30. Oh, it either brings wealth or death. Well, I say we just leave that alone and not touch it. The nice thing now is we can unpower this. And we'll save this path for later. And for now, we'll head in this direction. Ooh, a research thingy. We want this. Okay. Um, ooh, let's come back over here first and deal with this threat. Again, all unpowered rooms down here, they're going to spawn monsters at some point every turn. Um, we're not healed, so there still must be... Yep, there it is. There we go. Alright, what can we research? We've got 90. Uh, tactical HUD adds 18% attack power to all heroes on this floor. I like that. Um, adds 30% defense to heroes in the same room, and 30% defense to NPCs in the same room. This Sublaster, um, attack power 5, zone damage power on heroes 20. Um, it looks like it does damage to everybody. Uh, Neurostun, applies minus 30% spent, 30% speed to monsters in the same room. I don't like any of these, but out of all of them, I kind of like the whole attack power buff. So I will analyze that one for 48. I can always reroll for 10. But I'm kind of liking having more power. And that's going to take three turns to do. 
I do believe that if you find all of the rooms in the current floor before this thing is done researching, it just automatically finishes. Um, all right, let's move on and see what's over here. Another dead end. All right, if we zoom out, yeah, that is a dead end. Let's go ahead and go up with this. Another dead end? Yeah, nothing up there. Looks like they're rushing the exit. You know, let's uh, let's come back here. Oh, forgot about that. Oh, we're taking some damage. Let's get her out of there. They're on their way to the core, but we got it. Woo, that was close. I have a bad habit of not building enough turrets, but this thing is almost dead. <laughs> so we want to, I don't know, we should probably just keep an eye on it. This thing is completely, yeah. So the only way to go now is back and then up or to the left. Um, I don't want to leave this thing unattended. Hmm, what's the best course of action? I'm going to go ahead and power that and that. That's going to be less monsters spawning in this area for now. Um, all right, we need to leave someone here for this. All right, uh, let's go, let's go up here. Ooh, we found something. What is that? Oh, we got incoming, though. Uh, can't be it. You can see that when rooms are powered, you can actually see them on the minimap. Alright, not bad, not bad. Okay, what is this thing? Uh, slow but powerful. Heroes in floor attack power plus 80%. Estimated number of turns remaining 4. Oh, so it's just going to help me out for a little bit until it gets just destroyed. I suppose. I guess I'll power it for now. And I'll power this room here. Ooh, I can recruit someone. Expert in biomechanics. Okay, we'll recruit them. So now we've got a new person. Um, I don't know what they can do yet. Surgical striker. Let's open up his little thing. Okay, so it looks like he uses some kind of like rod, spear, something. Uh, let's go ahead and level him up and on par with the rest of them. That's fine. And I guess we'll just move on. Part of me wants to keep building, but at the same time... I mean, I could put something here. However, enemies could spawn from here. And kill this thing. Unless I bother to build turrets. Um, you know, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put just a couple of turrets here. Okay. Um We've explored a lot already. There's there's kinda there's kind of like a risk reward situation going on here. The longer you wait to put down resource generating buildings the less you get out of them before you find all the rooms in the dungeon. Again, time does not pass in this game until you open a door. Um, so with every door you open, you gain resources. But if you build something that generates resources late, then you're only going to get a couple of turns out of it before all the doors are found and opened. So you want to like put those resource generating things down as soon as possible. Um, I just don't know where I'm at with that. I don't know if... We're nearing the end of our exploration for this floor or not. We'll just keep moving, I guess. 
We found another science thing. All right. Oh, we got enemies, though. Ooh, that was close. Good thing for that health regeneration. Her med kit saved my bacon. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, so I can level up my science creator. Uh, so I'll be able to generate more research per turn with this thing. Um, auto dock shards. Heals heroes in the room. I like that as well. But the ability to generate more science is awesome. Pepper spray. The targeted monster attacks the other monsters during six seconds. I like that. All of these are good, but I think we need to focus on resource generation for now. I'll go ahead and research that one. And I guess we'll leave these guys here because they're getting bombarded. Although, you know what? I've got that one, uh, that one module. Or am I still researching it? I think I'm still re Oh, this tactical HUD. Oh, it has to go on a major module. Interesting. Okay. It has to be put on something like this in order for that buff to happen. Okay. That's good to know. In that case, I'm not doing that. Um, I guess we'll open this door. Dead end. Let's head back. Ooh, got something in this room. What do we get? Iron shield added to inventory. Ooh, he's repairing stuff. Oh, cool. He can actually op... Yes, yeah, some of these heroes can operate modules, and you actually get a bonus every turn. Um, if I move this guy out of here, I think... Yeah, he's working that one. I think you get a bonus to resource collection when he's working it. Um, this is all... Is this done yet? Should be done soon. Oh, okay, it is done. Um, uh, let's go with, um... Ooh. Powers the room without dust operating increases monster dust loot probability in the floor. Huh. That's cool. Although, I like the idea of health regeneration in a room. Hmm. I want to go with the health regen. I think that's going to be huge. Alright. Um, there's only one door remaining, and that, that concerns me a bit. I just have to hope there's no monsters over here. Let's go ahead and power... I don't know. This room there. The more rooms we power, the less monsters spawn. Two front war now. This sucks. Oh, heck. See, that was unfortunate here. Holy coward. This is not good. Wow, that was, that was really close. Whew. Okay, so we probably lost something. Huh? We're still okay. I'm really surprised by that. It's really unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and unpower that room and power this one. And I kind of want to put some turrets here. I hate I hate these cores that have like two different ways in. Alright, um, I guess we'll have this person here. It, there's no sense in adding anything else to these major modules now. Like I said, uh, this dungeon is probably done and over with. Yeah, you've opened the last room. And we found more stuffs.
Is that it? No, oh, got more. All right, so we found the last room, which means we can start unpowering unnecessary things. So let's just power our path to the escape room. We'll power that to prevent things attacking us as we're trying to enter it. And we'll power all of these, as, as many things as we can. Okay, I think that's good. Let's just have... Stupid gnat. Um, let's have one person grab this and move, and the other two just run interference. Alright, off we go. This thing's persistent. All right, we're almost there. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, maybe we'll do one more floor. All right, three freaking doors. This sucks. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just any mini money mo this sucker. We'll go right. Not an ideal room. Um, again, I think the industry generator is going to be an awesome thing for us. We'll do that. Let's get some turrets set up. This auto dock shard thing looks really cool i'm gonna do that health regen is awesome another prisoner prod there okay um ooh, this thing it's messing with me it wants the computer to win it keeps landing on my arm and tickling me okay it's a little freaking gnat and it just punched me in the face oh this thing uh, it this this thing has declared war on me i just want to know where it is All right. No, I'm probably allergic to that or something. Um, let's move on to the next room. Ooh, got some dust and this another crystal that gives me passive benefits. Okay, I'll power that room. Couple of turrets and we'll move on. Ooh, enemies. He looks nasty. I love that he can repair stuff. That's really useful. Alright. Um, we should definitely, I think, put something in here. Let's go with the science creator. The science creator 2. We'll go ahead and add a prisoner prod or two. Um, I also wouldn't mind that healing thing. I have a feeling we'll be guarding this room a bit. All right, uh, moving on. It's a dead end. Ooh, a research room. This is actually good for us. Um, let's go ahead. Ooh, tactical HUD 2. I'm not really using that right now. Biomass cannery. Gives plus one food every six monsters killed. Doesn't work while the crystal is being moved. Um, again, we don't. We want to put something like that in a choke point where a lot of monsters will be killed. Um, this one is like a grenade launcher. This is... Uh, each kill heals up to 100 HP based on monster power distributed to heroes in the room. Um, I like that. It's a healing thing as well. Um... I like the idea of the biomass cannery because it generates resources, plus one food for every six. That's, that's an average of one to two food, assuming that I kill them in that room. One to two food every turn. Um, but I'd rather just build one of those food generator build. Uh, let's go with this bioorganic transference. I love defensive stuffs. All right, so now we got to open up a different door. We'll go this way. Ooh, 
Ooh, incoming. And he was heading right for this crystal here, I think. Alright, not enough to power this room. So we'll just move on. Ooh, another science thing. Oh, but, but creatures, okay. Alright, not too shabby. Let's see what is here. Um, biomass... Okay, that might be the next thing to do. Yeah. Alright, let's analyze that. And that's not going to be effective until three turns is up. This is a dead end over here. Um, so we're going to have to go back to the main room and go up or down, which is awful. Absolutely awful. What sucks is they can come down here and wreck this thing and this thing... Um, I can unpower this, I think, and be safe about it. I think these things still work in the dark. Um, so I may want to reserve that power for... Yeah, let's bring these guys back here. I'm just going to have to be sure to bring or build some extra turrets out here to guard these rooms. This guy will have to maybe work this down here. Yeah, to guard this from this. Monsters may come from here, in which case this guy can move up and, and block. Uh, this is going to be bad. Alright, hopefully there's no monsters here. We'll find out. No! Okay, what is that? Ooh, nine of that factory resource. Uh, no monsters spawned. Okay. Well, very tempting to add something here. Uh, turrets for sure. One... Two. It's a very small room. Um, we could add a food replicator, I suppose. Three food per turn. And we'll move on. Ooh, got some incoming. Oh, they can attack the science thing. I did not know that. Get over there. Protect it. This thing's ruthless. Ooh, yeah, fix that, please. Are you going to fix that? I may have to assign some... Uh, I don't have enough power. Crap. Okay, I just have to hope that this thing doesn't get wrecked again. Alright, um, let's do this. Let's come back down here. And... I may keep this person here. I want this research to be finished. One turn left. Okay. I think we can... I think we could deal with that. Alright. Let's, uh... We've got... Let's power that. Ooh, look at that. I think something can go here. Uh, Tactical HUD, again, it's 18 attack... 18% attack power to all heroes on the floor. But I kind of want to do more resource generating. Uh, let's go with more science, maybe? Because we do have two science crystal thingies working at the moment. Uh, let's see if this one is done. It is. Okay. So, I thought I was researching the biomass factory. Oh, that, cre that creates industry every monster killed. And there's that food replicator. It'll be... Oh, I need to wait one more turn for that. Tear gas applies a damage of 4 per second to monsters in those same room. The turret will be upgraded. I kind of want to do that. Let's go ahead and analyze that. Uh, an upgrade to these basic turrets would be nice. Alright, um, where is everyone? You are there. You are there. All right, we'll just have to keep an ear out. Uh, let's add a turret or two to this room. All right, not shabby. Not a great room. Oh, we got nasties. Oh, possible, possible problems here. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, we've got enough dust to power one room. If I were to power one, let's go ahead and power this there. Uh, that will save me from having to stay here and guard this. Oh, is this destroyed? Oh, no, it's working. Okay. Um, let's see if this is done. I thought it was. It had one turn left on it. It did. Ooh, new module. What is that? If he Merkin is discovered, he will be teleported to the module operating gives dust. Oh, interesting. Um, auto dock shards. That's an upgrade to the thing that we have. Mines, high damage to enemies in the room. That could be useful. An upgrade to that bioorganic transference. Each kill heals up to 150 HP. So that's an upgrade to what we have. Um, also, I, I kind of like that. Although that passive health regen is also kind of nice. I think we'll upgrade that. All right. And I think I'll work this thing and keep an eye on... Actually, this. And we'll keep an eye on this room over here to the, to the right. Okay. Uh, moving on. Dead end, I think. Yep. Ooh, we found the exit. Uh, any enemies? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, so that's the exit. Uh, let's go this way. Found some dust. Prisoner prod upgrade it done. That's cool. We also got some more of that industry resource. Um, let's see if we can't research something else before we leave the floor. This is why I like having all that science. Biomass cannery, plus one food for every... F Instead of six monsters, it's five monsters? I don't think that's worth it, to be honest. Tesla module. Medium damage to enemies in the room. Viral injector. Spreads disease. Uh, poison duration is eight seconds. Uh, LAN module. Adds defense to all major modules on this floor, but I'd have to, in I'd have to replace... One of those big ones. I don't know. I, I'm kind of digging the Tesla module, but we already have a lot of attack ones already. I don't see a reason to keep adding all these different ones. Ah, priority target is anti-module monsters. That could be useful. All right, let's go with that. Those are the enemies that are attacking these, these modules directly. So that Tesla might target them and, and kill them before I have to get over there. Um, let's, uh, let's explore this room to the right. Uh, we got something there. Auto shards upgraded. What is this? There is something within that can only be discovered by activating it. Uh, fine. We'll go for it. 24 food. Okay. Um, we took the risk and uh, got the reward. Now, that's everything except for this door down here. The downside is there is nothing between... <laughs> like, there's nothing. If monsters spawn here, we're kind of in trouble. Let's bring this guy here. Um, let's go ahead and repair these first, though. We'll power that for now. And uh, I've got 156 food. Part of me wants to upgrade these guys a little bit further. 47 food. That will increase HP. You can actually see the pluses in green there. Oh, we, that's right. We got this iron shield a while back. Um, it won't fit this guy because he's already got this mil spec bracelet. Um, what does this do? It's uh, just defense. We'll give it to the nurse. Because why not? We need some weapons, though. All right. Um, let's just open this one up. And hope for the best. There's another door there. Oh, yeah. Let's get back. Attack. It's kind of cheaty. It really is. The fact that all those monsters spawn right then and there. Whew. Okay. So we probably lost... Whenever the core gets attacked, um, you actually lose dust. Which, in turn, hurts you because you can't power everything. Um, I guess we'll power this. Let's see if we can't research something real quick before we leave the floor. 
Again, if you pick research and then find the last door, I think it just gets researched automatically. You've got 46 science. Might as well see what we can do with it. Um, Industry Generator 3 looks good, but we don't have the science for it. Biomass Cannery. Oh. Two food for every five monsters. Eh? Pepper Spray. I like the idea of monsters attacking each other, but we've got so many of those minor modules now, it just seems kind of silly to keep adding to it. I think we should just maybe focus on something like this. Plus two food every five monsters. I, I like that better. All right, let's go with that. And uh, we're out of science, so I'm not even going to bother checking the other one. All right, um, let's... Let's bring these guys this way. And for safety, we'll add a turret or two there. A customer with some money and not so many teeth. Okay. Um, I can buy stuff. Um, I could buy, with dust, I can buy this t-shirt. Um, I've got 91. I, I don't know if I really want to buy anything. Although having some weapons would definitely be helpful. This is a sword, though. None of them use a sword. This lucky rabbit's foot would be great for the robot. Uh, Nano Brothers. HP regen. Also a trinket that would be good for him. Oh, man. This is tough. Um, I'm not sure... Like, I, I, it's, it's gonna cost me dust. Alright, let's check first. Uh, we still have a lot of rooms to explore. Let's wait on buying anything until we see how much excess dust we have. Because in theory, we're gonna be powering this room, this room, this room, this room, and this room to get out. That leaves a lot of dust that we haven't used. Um, so that's actually, it's viable that we buy stuff. But not right now. We'll wait until we're ready to leave. Um, so with that said, let's just have this guy... Uh, let's go with more of these modules. There's that Prisoner Prod 2. Same cost as the other one. Uh, let's move on. That is a dead end. Ten dust. I think there are enemies, possibly. Yes. Ooh, they broke something. That's lovely. Oh, this guy. He's... He's gonna be trouble, this one. Alright, well... I think he broke one of my, one of my resource generating buildings, I think. Whatever this was. I think it might have been the food one. Alright, there's no sense in replacing it now because we are going to leave soon. Alright, uh, let's just come back here. We have an extra dust. Let's power... Let's just power that, I guess. Open the last door. Okay. And just enemies for our trouble, I see. That was close. Okay. We've opened the last door. So um, I think now we can... Let's unpower stuff. And we'll see how much dust we have left. Yeah, see, so we've got a, hundred, a, a lot of dust. So let's go ahead and buy stuff at the merchant. And... Uh, I think we just... We can't do the sword. No one can use a sword. I do like the rabbit's foot. And I like the... T-shirt has defense on it. Um, wit and max HP. That's good. 
But I think everyone has... Yeah, so this Nano Brothers... I mean, I could sell something existing, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay. All right, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and power that and that. Oh, this, these two as well. And we should have a clear path. All right, we are gone. Floor three cleared, we left with some stuff. I don't know if it's beneficial to demolish existing buildings and possibly take more with you. I don't know if that's a thing. We have 159 industry. So if we see 159 industry, yeah, we did. So maybe it is, maybe it's something I should consider doing. I don't know if you, if you demolish something, get a refund for it, and then I can bring that with me to the next level. Something to think about. Well, anyway, I think this is going to be a good stopping point for me. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing more of this particular playthrough, the best thing to do is to um, make sure that the video on YouTube gets a lot of views, and that way I'll know that you guys want to see more. Uh, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.